Hey guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness, a smart, sustainable, and functional approach to fitness and martial arts for the older guy and the busier guy. So today, I want to talk to you guys about my martial art journey, right? Because uh, I'm 39 years old and I've been doing uh, martial arts almost my whole life. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight uh, on my, my background, uh, how I started, uh, what I'm doing now, what I've stopped doing, uh, what art I practiced. So I started really young, uh, well not that young, but um, you know, like any, like most kids, right? I, I fell on uh, one of those Bruce Lee movies there. I forgot which one I, I saw first, but it had a really big impact on me. And you know, because he was Asian, I was like, hey, wow, an Asian dude on the screen, kicking ass, super muscular, super fast. So that was really cool. And then from there on, I think it was as early as I can remember it, I think I was maybe eight or nine years old. So then from there, I always wanted to learn. So I was harassing my parents and, and uh, I, you know, and eventually they gave in. So at the age of 13, I started, uh, uh, we, found, we found a Kung Fu school and uh, it was Hungar Kung Fu. So it had all the animals and uh, a bunch of animal forms and, and stuff like that. So I stayed there for two years. And I, after two years, uh, the reason why I stopped was because there was no sparring. There was really like no sparring at all. So we did a lot of, a lot of forms uh, forms also known as uh, katas, you know, but in, in the Chinese martial arts they call it forms. A lot of forms, uh, a lot of horse stance, a lot of different type of stances depending on your position. And so I knew a shitload of forms. And, and the, only, when you, the way you progressed, because they had satches uh, instead of belts. So basically like re belts made of silk and that you would just tie around your waist to indicate your rank. Um, and for you to go up in rank, basically you just had to learn uh, a whole bunch of forms. You know, let's say you had three sets of forms to learn for your first uh, satch, right? And then yellow, let's say that was the color, if I remember correctly. And then you, you, you know, there's different colors up until black, but it was all about learning as much forms as possible. So I got tired of that. And then um, my uncle actually, uh, talked to me about Taekwondo, one of his friends were, were doing it and uh, they said, hey, they're sparring, you know? So I went and checked that out. I harassed my parents again. And uh, by this time, I'm, what, 15? So <clears throat> I harassed the shit out of them. I'm like, hey, it's Taekwondo, uh, you know? Okay, so fine. They, they, they agreed, so I switched over to Taekwondo. And so I practiced Taekwondo for about three years. And then after that, by that time, I was about 18. And that's where I kind of stopped and th there's many reasons for that but mainly one of the reasons was um, I wanted to compete and my parents weren't into that at all. They were like, no, we're just you know paying for your courses. Uh, we're not even going to pay for your belt promotions because you have to pay to get uh, promoted you know, for the exam and for this and for that. So I, I didn't get promoted and I wasn't, uh, my parents weren't supporting me. Uh, they weren't gonna pay for promotions and for competitions. You know, so since I didn't see any, any future in it, I was like, okay, well, whatever, you know. And at that age, you know, I started going out a lot, started meeting girls, so on. And I had a lot more freedom, I was in college. So I, 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 be, I essentially stopped. So, fast forward a little bit here. Um, in my 20s, 20s to 30s, I did not do anything uh, because those were the lost years, so to speak, for my martial art journey. And uh, I've always had it in the back of my mind that I would go back to martial arts, right? Because I did a lot of sports as a kid, uh, but I started in Kung Fu and in Taekwondo. And oh wait, I forgot about something. After I stopped Taekwondo, like I started doing some self-defense too with this, uh, this other uh, teacher that I met at that time. And he was just starting his own thing and he was giving private lessons and stuff like that. And uh, my friend introduced me to him, so I did a lot of, um, self-defense stuff uh, with, with that dude. And so then after that, I stopped. And in, in my 20s until 30s, I, I basically just, it's, it's for another video, but essentially I just partied. Work and party, and, and that's all I did, and I didn't care, you know? 
So anyways, uh, and then at 30, I discovered, um, a Brazi- that's when I started Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So I fell in love with it right away. I was like, wow, this shit really, really works, right? So I stuck with it and I did it for about six years in total. Uh, first three years was at the, the first club I had, then I had a falling out, but I'm still friends with my first coach and, and we're actually very tight. But at that time, you know, I got into a little argument with him, whatever. And then um, I changed clubs and I was blue belt at the time when I changed. So when I changed club and, and later on, my first coach told me that he was about, he was about to give me my purple, but I left. So I ended up at this another, another club, another jujitsu club. So I did, I stayed there for about three years. And then from there, um, well, you know, when you, when you switch clubs, you know, uh, this club, we had an instructor, the instructor was very uh, picky uh, to who he gave his, you know, his purple belts to. I think one of the criterias was, well, you know, uh, loyalty, he had really had to trust you and, and so forth. And also I didn't feel like competing uh, once I got there. So I just, um, so I just trained, I trained, I kept on learning and stuff like that. And then at one point, well, I ran out of money. And so I, I stopped, uh, I lost my job, so I ran out of money. Uh, I actually made a video about that, why I switched from um, uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu to, to Judo. But that's, what, that's basically what happened. I stopped, I, I stopped BJJ and I started Judo. So then now it's been, uh, I'm still doing Judo right now. And uh, while I was doing um, the, uh, the three years the last three years of, of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I touched a lot on uh, boxing, um, wrestling, right? And also Muay Thai. So during those three years, I was doing uh, on and off, a little bit all over the place. Well, not all over the place. At the club, they had classes. So, you know, they had like uh, Muay Thai once a week. They had uh, boxing once a week, they had wrestling once a week, they even had judo once a week. So that was really cool. So for three years I did that. And of course BJJ at that club. And then from there, when I basically ran out of money, I switched over to, I was recruited by one of my teammates um, who was doing also Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but who had his own club on the side uh, teaching judo. So I went there and I did judo and then I, I never, I never came, I never went back to BJJ. <laughs> but. So that's it guys, so in total, um, I think that I, as a, as a grappler, uh, let's say in BJJ, gi, no gi, I, for sure, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, I think I'm, I'm probably a purple, or maybe close to brown, right? But officially, I only have my, my blue belt. In Kung Fu, I did it for two years. Uh, Taekwondo, so, okay, let's, let's just go back a second. Two years of Kung Fu, okay? Three years of Taekwondo, and Taekwondo, I got really good. I, I was green belt, but I should have been black, but my parents didn't feel like pain. And uh, I was sparring with, towards the end, I was sparring against Koreans from, black belts from Korea and shit like that. And I was, I was giving them a fucking hard time, you know? So, two years of Kung Fu, three years of uh, Taekwondo, uh, six years of uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, right? Six, seven, approximately and about two years and a half now in judo so that's a total of let's see now uh you got two plus three so that's five plus uh six uh so that's 11 plus uh you know two years and a half there so you know close to about 15 uh, whatever my math sucks but anyways it's 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 over a decade almost 15 years of uh of martial arts and um, during all this time too, except for those 10 lost years there between, between uh, 20 and 30, I, of course I did a lot of um, going to the gym, fitness stuff, you know, working out and stuff. And I discovered very mm, much, like I only found my way much later in life in terms of uh, what, what I should be in in terms of my industry, you know, like my path, so to speak. And it sucks, but it is what it is. But you know, I'm not uh, I'm not that not that old, but I'm definitely not that young. Uh, and yeah, so my thing really is uh, martial arts and and fitness. So that's why I had this channel. And um, okay, so that's it for this video. I just wanted to share my uh, martial art journey 
and slash background with you guys so that you guys have a better idea of um, what I do, you know? And um, that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, click on the notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.